Hey guys, welcome to week three of my New Year New Dinner collaboration series. And this week, I'm excited to say that I have a special guest in my kitchen with me, Angel from Angel Wong's Kitchen. Hi. I first met Angel last year at VidCon and immediately fell in love with her channel. She features beautiful Asian and Taiwanese recipes that are simple and fun. I encourage you to head on over and check out her recipes and subscribe. Her channel is a great way to get out of your food rut and try something new. So welcome, Angel. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks so much for having me, Beth. I'm really excited to be here and share my pot sticker recipe with you. Okay, well good. You have an eager student here, so you just tell me what to do. What's the Perfect. first step? <laughs> so first of all, we'll want to start with our Napa cabbage. And if you guys haven't used Napa cabbage before, this is what it looks like. So we'll start by, I'll give you one leaf. Thank you. You can help me out here, Beth. <laughs> yes. So what we'll want to do is we'll start with the Napa cabbage because we're going to be putting this in some kosher salt and we're going to let that sit in a bowl for 20 to 30 minutes. And this will help extract the water from it and that'll help so that when we cook the pot stickers, there's not a bunch of water inside. Got it. Okay, good to know. All right. So what we should do is we'll start by cutting away the green leafy parts, leaving the white stems. Got it. We can probably save this and toss it in a salad. Yeah. Okay, is that what you sure, would do? Why not? Or do, can you saute it at all? You can. Okay. You yeah. can. Saute okay. with a little bit of garlic is great. Oh, yeah. Sounds great. Okay. Okay. Now, what we'll want to do is we'll want to cut it into thin strips. And okay. so that way we have some chopped door. Napa. You have much better knife skills than I do, Angel. <laughs> As you all know, that's not my big strong suit. But hey, that's what you get when you're a home cook, right? Okay. So just like this, just some small, oh, yes. small squares here, okay. chopped now, up. Angel, where did you learn to cook? Are these family recipes? Did you go to culinary school? What's your background? No, so most of my recipes are actually family recipes. So from my grandmother, Aww. and she makes the best home-cooked food. I love it. Every time I eat her food, it reminds me of when I was younger. So that's right. great. And where's your grandmother from? She's actually from Taiwan, but okay. she's here living with us now. Nice. We'll need about one cup of Napa cabbage, okay. chopped, and that's about six leaves. Oh, okay, great. But we did prepare ahead of time, so we did get all of this done, and we have some, I think right here maybe, uh, that has been, oh yeah, look at all that water. I didn't realize that had so much water in it. Yeah, yeah, and we want to remove that before we cook it. Don't rinse it, just go ahead and drain it because it's already seasoned with the salt, which we'll be using for the filling. Oh, right, yes. Okay, so after we have our chopping, we did forget to mention that. Then we're gonna take how much kosher salt about? It's about half a teaspoon of kosher oh. salt. Oh, that's all it takes, okay. So then we would do half a teaspoon of kosher salt, let that sit for 20 minutes. Good point to do this ahead of time so that as you're making the filling, you don't have to wait around for this to be ready. Okay, so now we're gonna make the filling. So Angel, tell me what goes into the filling. So first we're gonna start with our pork. We've got a little bit of ground pork here. Just put that into the bowl. And then we've got our Napa cabbage. Again, make sure you drain that really well. So throw that in there. Next, we'll add in our shrimp. Now this is an interesting combination, the pork and the shrimp. Is that something your grandmother used to do? Is that the traditional way to do it? Yep, so we've, we've used shrimp and pork. You could definitely use just pork if you'd like, mm -hmm. or you could do mix it up with something else, like leeks, pork and leeks, maybe yeah. some shiitake mushrooms. It's all whatever you guys want to do. Next, we'll add in our garlic. Mm -hmm. And then, could you grate us some yes. ginger? Be my pleasure, okay. So how about how much? About a Teaspoon, half a teaspoon? About half a teaspoon. Okay. You can eyeball it. So after we make these, I mean, could you freeze them or how do? How would you? Absolutely. So I like to make double the recipe and then I'll freeze them. I typically like to freeze them on a uh, tray with parchment paper and make sure they're not sticking together. Nice. Then pop them in the freezer for about half an hour to an hour, make sure they're completely frozen, and then toss them in just a Ziploc bag so they're easy to store. Great, and then you have them. They're, they're all yeah, ready to go. exactly. Really easy for a weeknight meal when you just wanna cook and go. Okay, <laughs> all right, sorry, I'm making kind of a mess of this. Well, that's okay. <laughs> You're doing a good job grading. It smells delicious, I will say that. <laughs> so now we'll just need a little bit of rice wine. Okay, so here we go. About half a teaspoon About is half good. A teaspoon? Okay. And if you don't have rice wine, you can also use a dry sherry as well. Okay, there you go. 
And then we're gonna add some sauces here. So, so what do we add next? So we're gonna start with some low sodium soy sauce. We're gonna add about one teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna add some toasted sesame oil. I love the smell of toasted sesame oil. It's so delicious. We're gonna add about one teaspoon of that too. Mm -hmm. And finally, we're gonna finish off with some cornstarch, about one tablespoon of cornstarch. Great. And that is just gonna help everything bind together, is that the idea? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. Now we'll just go ahead and mix everything in. All right. Do you wanna do the honors? I do, you know what? I know you were saying that you normally do this with your hands, is that right? Yes. But I'm gonna just <laughs> use a fork and a spoon so we don't have to stop down and wash our hands, okay? Good idea. All right, you trust me? I just mix yep. it up here? Exactly. All right, oh my gosh, that's... That oh, smells, smells good, so good, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yeah, it smells really good. All right, and this recipe is gonna make about 24, is that? It makes about two dozen, yeah. It makes about two dozen, okay, good. Okay, so now for the part that I'm really curious about, how to fill these. I have to say, Angel, I'm a little nervous. I don't wanna mess it up. Oh, you'll be okay, <laughs> you'll be okay. It's really easy, and once you get the hang of it, you'll be good to go. Okay. So first, we'll wanna start with our pot sticker wrappers. Now, when you go to the store, they have thick and thin wrappers. I prefer the thick ones, but it's totally personal preference, so. And I saw that, and when I was at the store, I didn't know, are these thick or thin? These, I would say, are thick. Oh, they are thick. Yeah, they feel really thick. They have a really nice weight to it. And is this the only size they come in, or do they come bigger than this? They just come like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. One size fits all. Great. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with a small spoon. Okay. And go ahead and take about a teaspoon or small spoonful and put that in the center of the wrapper, just like that. Okay. Next. Take your finger, dip it in a small dish of water. Okay. And just kind of draw around to wet the edges. Got it. Around the whole way, like the whole circle? Yep, around okay. the whole circle. Got it. You might want to keep a paper towel handy. Okay. Once you're done with that, just kind of fold and pleat like mm. so. See, this is the tricky part. Yep. <laughs> Fold it over and then start with this, pinch that down. Yep. Mm -hmm. And now pleat using your other hand, kind of lift. Like, like yep. a real pleat? Yes. Oh, like a real yes. pleat. Okay, there we go. And do you pleat both at the same time, like both layers? Yeah. I just do the top layer. You just do the top layer? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I see. Okay, yeah, it does take a little uh, getting the hang of it, I will say that. But your pleats are beautiful, look at you. Oh, thank you. You are very well versed in this. Which is... After you do a couple, you'll get the hang of it. All right, yes, I need to get to do a couple, all right. So my pleats... That's not bad for your first really? time. Really, for a beginner pleat? That's about. okay. Okay. So then when you're done, all you have to do is just put it on a plate. Okay. And I like to kind of curve it around and just press it down a little bit to look like yes. that. Oh, yours is so great, look at you. All right. Comparison yeah. there. Right. Okay. Well, let's keep practicing. All right. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna do about twelve of these or so. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. So let's go. Music montage time. Here we go. I'm getting better. Maybe sort of. It's oh not no, quite that's good. Of Angel Wong quality. Every pot sticker is unique, so make it your own. <laughs> And they're all delicious, so really, does it really matter, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, now we're gonna learn how to cook these up, right? Great. Okay, let's do it. So first you wanna start with a nonstick cooking pan and make sure that you have a lid for that. We're gonna start with a little bit of canola oil or vegetable oil. About one tablespoon is good. Just swirl that around a bit. Here, I'll turn this on for you. Thank you. Go. Okay. Then we'll arrange our pot stickers right in the pan. And I like to arrange it in a circular shape. Is that just the easier way to get them all to fit? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, yes, there you go. Second plate. And try to arrange them so they're not touching together, otherwise they'll stick. Perfect. Wonderful, okay. Now we'll need about three quarters of a cup of water. Just pour that right in. Then we'll just cover that 
and let that steam for about six to eight minutes. All right, so we're nearing the home stretch here. So once the water is almost evaporated, you can go ahead and lift the lid. Mm. It smells really good, doesn't it? It smells really good, <laughs> and they look fantastic. Yeah. Look at that, wow. So we're just gonna let them pan fry for another two to five minutes until they're golden brown, and then they come off really nicely off the pan. That's great, yeah. I was telling Angel just as we were watching this cook, I've seen it done the other way where people pan fry and then steam, but then they do get kind of slimy. They don't have that really nice crust that yeah. looks like they're forming here. This way, when we steam it first, they'll develop a nice golden crust. So now we have our plate all prepared here, and Angel's beautiful idea for plating is just to take some Napa cabbage, which I think is beautiful. Yeah. Looks great. So let's check and see if they're done. Oh yeah, that's nice. Nice oh, golden brown. Oh, my God, this is great. Yeah. Okay, awesome. so we're just going to plate that okay. right there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then while you're doing that, we're also going to serve this with a dipping sauce that Angel has made. And tell us about the sauce. So that's a homemade chili sauce that I made. And it's really good. It has a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vinegar, nice flavor to it. And I'll show you guys how to make it on my channel in a video for chili sauce. Great, so you can click the annotation and head over to Angel's channel and she'll show you how to make it. Yum, these look amazing. All right, and then we're gonna garnish with a little sesame seeds. A little sesame seeds and some green onions. Great, okay. Here we go. And I love how Angel has instructed the cutting of the green <laughs> onion. <laughs> on the bias, on the angle, it's really pretty that way. Look at that, these are beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. okay, we'll give it a try. See okay. what you think. All right, I can't wait, they look delicious. All right, here we go. And here, use this dish just in case you drop it. Yes, okay, good to know. All right, oh, this looks so yummy. Okay, I'm gonna try a little of the sauce. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, those are so good. What do you think? Fantastic. Smells really good. <laughs> They're so light. Yeah. I'm like, you know, sometimes when you get pot stickers in restaurants, are really heavy. These are so light and delicious. Thank you so much for showing me how no to make problem. these. These are fantastic. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and you guys can see more of Angel's fantastic recipes over on her channel. Be sure to head over, subscribe, and make sure you learn how to make this chili sauce. It goes really well with these pot stickers. And you guys can see more of Angel's fantastic recipes right after this. I'm going to leave you with a little montage of some of our favorite recipes from her channel. All right, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.